So, quick review uh, for the magnetic field force uh, equation for force on a wire. Force equals magnetic field times current times L sine theta because force, or excuse me, the B field and the current have to be exactly perpendicular to each other. There's a review of your terms associated with the symbols and their uh, units. On the equation sheet, you'll find everything for this down here in 5.4. QVB sine theta, we're going to get to that. Don't you? Current of 3.8 amps in a long wire experiences a force of 5.7 times 10 to the negative third newtons when it flows through magnetic field strength 25 micro... No, milli teslas. Sorry. Uh, if the length of the wire in the field is 10 centimeters, what is the angle between the field and the current? Try it out. Pause the video. Okay, did you have to dust off your trigonometry textbooks? Hopefully not. Uh, we're looking for theta here, so we're going to divide each side by BIL, so that all goes away. And to get sine, or to get theta all by itself, to remove sine, we're going to take the inverse of sine from each side. So we get theta equals arc sine F over bill. And then from here, we can just plug in our numbers. The 5.7 times 10 to the negative third. 5.7 times 10 to the negative third newtons over 25 milli. 25 times 10 to the negative third times 3.8 times 0 0.1. Fun with... Metric prefixes, make sure you got those down. Milli is 10 to the negative third. That's milli, milli, so those can go away. And then centi is 10 to the negative second. All right, so whenever you plug in all of that, I got something like 36.87 degrees. Make sure your calculator is in degrees and not in radians. Great, so we've covered force on a current carrying wire. Well, what about force on a charged particle? For any charged particle, Whenever there's magnetic force on a current carrying wire, the force is really on the moving charges inside of that conductor. Single charge particles can also experience a magnetic force when moving through a magnetic field. So a couple of reminders. Uh, velocity is a distance over time. Well, if the, if the charge is moving some distance through a wire, we would call that the length. So a charge moves, moves some length. For this, the velocity is not distance over time, but length over time. Solving for length, we get L equals VT. And we have I equals QT, Q over T, charge per unit time, the flow of charge, or the rate. All right, so using these relationships and using our force equation, we're still dealing with a magnetic field. So B is still going to be there but we can substitute Q over T and we can substitute V times T and we get, still get sine theta. We have a T in the denominator, T in the numerator, and we get V, Q, V, sine theta. This is our equation for force on a charged particle. On your equation sheet, that's that first one. I told you we'd get to it, as promised. Try it out for yourself. Pause this video. Pretty easy. We don't have to move anything around. We don't have to do any of the substitutions. We've already done the substitutions. So I'm just going to not write every single uh, number here. I believe you are smart enough to figure this one out. 1.5 times 10 to the negative 16 newtons. Did you get it? I hope so. All right, particles moving across fields now. So whenever you have this charged particle moving in this direction, we can use our right-hand rule, F, B, I. Okay, so we have I. That's the direction the charge is moving, I. The B field in this case is coming out. 
So what direction is our force? Our force is going down. Well, if our force is going down, it's perpendicular to this. Oh, perpendicular to the velocity. Force is proportional with acceleration. Acceleration proportional to velocity. That means you are creating, well, come on. Come on, yeah, that's, that's, that's enough. Okay, okay. That means you are creating circular motion. So as this object has a tangential velocity in this direction, it's being accelerated downwards, perpendicular, and as that happens, you get this curved motion. So now your tangent velocity is here and your acceleration is this way. Tangent velocity is this way, acceleration is this way. This is circular motion. Great. Just know that that's going to come into play. Now, depending on um, how fast it's moving, it may be affected by that force more or less. If it's moving really fast, it's going to have a lot of horizontal uh, displacement. If it's not traveling that fast, then it's just going to loop around. So this would be your slow, this would be your fast. Fast moving particle, like that. Uh, that O is just not going to want to write, I suppose. So that's, that's great. There we go. All right. What about a negative charge? A negative charge. If you're dealing with a negative charge, stop using your right hand. It's the wrong hand. Use your negative hand. The left hand. So for the bottom left, we still have F, B, I. Same fingers. So we're going to take I, the direction of the current. The magnetic field is pointing out of the screen, so it's towards us. And then the force is directed upwards. So we're going to get motion that is going to curve this upwards. So it would be something like that or depending on the strength of the force and the speed of the particle, something in the upward direction where force is going up. Uh, if that's awkward to you, because we're doing all this stuff where we're bending, you can just use your right hand, and you have the current going that way, and then you have the magnetic field out of the screen, and then force, force is going down. Well, it's an electron, so force is opposite. If you want to have that in your brain, that's, that's fine too. Uh, I like to just use left hand, but you do whatever works for you, as long as you're getting the right answer, right? All right, over here, try these two out with the magnetic field going into the screen. Pause the video, try it out. get an upward force here. I is going this direction. Current is the flow of the charged particles. So current, the charge is going this way, so the current is going this way. X is into the page. We're looking at the back side of the arrow. So using my right hand rule, because it's positive, I can see that my middle finger, my F, is directed upwards, which means I'm going to have this kind of motion. Over here, I'm going to use my left hand because that's what I like. My thumb is going to be my current, and my B field is going into the page, and now my force is going down. See how it's opposite if it's a, if it's a negative, so it's the same situation. Uh, but because it's 